Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about my favorite topic in Svelte, which is transitions, as well as we're going to be talking about conditional rendering. So, let's just dive right into it. Uh, before we talk about transitions, I had to show you how we handle conditional rendering. So, let's say I have the common example where we have something like, let's user, you know, so we have some sort of user object. And we want to determine whether to show them the login page or the signup page. Now, for now, I'm just going to hard code in some data. For example, uh, we're going to say name is equal to something like that. We can have uh, username, whatever, something like that. And then the important value, logged in. And by default, we'll set this to false. So we want to conditionally show something whether they're logged in or whether they're, you know, logged out. So to do that, I'm going to create two files. I'm going to create a log, uh, log in dots felt components and a dashboard dots felt component. So inside of the dashboard dots felt component, um, I guess for now, I will just uh, do something like h. Uh, I'll create a script first. That's the important one. So it will do lang ts for TypeScript, and then in here we're going to export the name, export the a or username, and uh, export let username. There we go. There we go. So we're going to export those in here. I'm going to create a welcome back and then pass in their name and then here we'll have like an h2 username and then username so in here we're going to conditionally render this and then i'm going to want to add a couple line breaks and then add a button that says log out and what i want to be able to do is when the user clicks this button i want to be able to log out so how do we handle that well, first things first, we are going to want to create slash import this um, login and dashboard script. So we're going to do imports login from dot slash login, right? We're going to import dashboard from dot slash dash uh, slash dashboard. And then we're going to conditionally show these. So you may have already tried doing something like this, like if user dots, you know, logged in, you know, like show the show the login page, something like that. And this this doesn't work. This is HTML down here. After the script tags, you can't add JavaScript really, but you can do something like this. We can do this hashtag, and it's called a block. So we do brackets. Hashtag, and you can see there's each, if, key, and await. We're going to be using the if block, which allows us to do just like that. We do if, and then we pass in a condition. For example, user, user dot logged in, right? And in here, we're going to run whatever's in this block if the user's logged in. So we're just going to show the dashboard page, right? I mean, that makes sense. So we will show the dashboard page and we'll just pass in the user props, right? So we're gonna pass in the dashboard page with the user props using the spread syntax. Now you may be like, okay, well, I went to my application and nothing's there. Well, it's because we're not logged in. If I set this to true, for example, what you'd see is we get username, welcome back, all of that. Uh, we also get this uh, exports, uh, uh, let's is logged. Oh. There we go. There we go. Just so we don't get any any errors from uh, from Svelte itself. And then in here, I'll just show an H3 that says is logged in, which will always be true. There we go. Okay. There we go. So you can see in here we get true because we're logged in. We also get welcome back. And we don't really have a name or anything. If I set this to Tyler and username was JS Amplified, you would see we get username and welcome back Tyler. 
Now, when we click this log out button, nothing happens. So how do we um, first create the log out system? So we can like log out Well, when the user logs out. Uh, there's a couple ways we can do this. The first thing I'm gonna show you is how we can do events. So inside of the dashboard.svelte, we are going to work with events. So I'm gonna import something from the common Svelte module, and it is create events, um, I think it's called create, yeah, create event dispatcher. And we import this from um, Svelte itself. So we get this create event dispatcher, which is a function. And in here we can do dispatch is equal to creates events dispatcher. So you may be like, okay, when we click this button, we want to log out the user. So with this create, uh, this dispatch, how do we do that? Right? So we just do an on click, right? So we have an on click handler and then here we're going to run, uh, log out. Let's just call it a log out function, right? So in here we can do const log out is equal to, we're going to use the arrow function syntax and we're going to use this dispatch. Now, if you see dispatch takes in two values, the first one is the type, which is always a string. And I'm going to call this log log out, right? Because we want to create a event with the handler of log out. And in here is the detail which we can basically do something like this, like uh, like time stamp, right? And just do dates dot now. And we don't really need this, but I do wanna show you, you can pass values in. So when we click this value, we're gonna fire off the logout events. And you may be like, okay, so inside the app dots felt, how do I handle that? Well, in here we can do on logout. And you can see we're already getting um, IntelliSense from Svelte. It says on log out, which isn't an actual Svelte event, obviously. And in here, we can run a function. And in here, I'm just going to simply do user dot logged in, right, is equal to false. That's all we're going to do with this function. And what happens is if I click this button, you can see it all goes away. So we, do, we click it and it goes away, right? We click it and it goes away. Now you may be like, okay, how do I log back in? And this is where the conditional rendering is going to come back in because it's not showing it when this is false. So we need to add an else in here. And this is actually really simple to do with felts. We can do the bracket, a semicolon, and then else in here. Um, and this will now allow us to run this block of code whenever this statement is not met. For example, I can do login, right? We can add the login component. Or instead of a login component, we can just add a button that says login, right? And in here, we can add an on click and then just do user dot logged in is equal to true, right? And this would satisfy our goals. We can come in here, click log out, log in, log out, log in. So with this setup, uh, we actually don't need the login component. We didn't need the dashboard one either. I wanted to kind of show you how we can create these events and dispatch them. Um, and in the next episode, we're going to dive really, really, really deep into events and dispatching because there's a lot you can do with this. Um, but I did want to show you that, hey, if you create uh, conditional rendering, you can have like an if block, you can show the dashboard, right? Only when we're logged in. And then you can handle events and change this from other components and re-render components. So in here, we can render the login button. Now, this is fun and all, but let's say I want to add a nice little transition. Nothing fancy, just something to, you know, just a nice little transition. How would I go about doing that? Well, Svelte makes this really, really, really easy to do, actually, by default. All we have to do is imports, right, imports the name of our transition from and then felt slash transition and in this module we have access to a whole bunch of transitions like fly fade right uh, we also have access to things like uh, scale slide a whole bunch of stuff i'm not going to show all of them but uh, i figured i would you know 
kind of keep them there. So we have fade and fly are the ones I'm going to be using in this case. For example, if I want to, when the button is getting loaded in, we can do something like trans transition, right? And then do fade. So what this is going to do is we're going to fade in and out whenever this button is time to load. So you can see we fade it in and we fade it out right here. Let's say I just want to fade it in. So we can just do in and then um, fade, let's just say, right? So only when it's coming in will it fade. And you can see it fades just like that. Now let's say I want it to take a lot longer, right? Uh, let's say I want it to take a duration of 2,000 milliseconds, which is two whole seconds. We just add duration. And as you can see, now it's taking a whole bunch longer. Uh, it's actually a lot easier to see this with something like fly, right? So we can do fly, and we can see the duration, and you can see it's right there. And actually, it's not really doing the flying because we have to set like an X value. So I'm going to just say 100. And now... If we do it, you can see how it's coming in really, really slowly. In fact, if I do something like a thousands, right? Click it, you can see how it's coming in right here and it's taking a long time. And this is an in animation. We can also do something like Y, uh, negative a thousand, for example. And what you'll see is it comes from the top. If we wanted this to come from the bottom, we would just set this to a thousand. So by default, Svelte comes with these components that we can uh, fade in and out. I'm only doing it in here to demonstrate, but um, it is really simple as you can tell. So I'm going to set this back to 800. I'm going to do uh, X of negative 100, something like that. And then on this component, um, let's say I wanted to add a in animation of fade, right? Let's say I just want to add a nice simple fade animation. You may notice that uh, we're getting errors. It's saying transitions can only be applied to DOM elements. And that's because this has to have uh, a DOM element. So we could do two things here. We can add like a div around this element, right? And then just do in fade, and this would work. So in here, we can log out, fade, and you can see it fades in nice and slowly. This slides in, this fades in. Or we um, could also do something that I think looks a little bit cleaner. And inside the actual components, uh, creates like a section or something. And then in here, we can do in fade. But we had to import fade. So I'm just going to do import fade uh, just like that. And what you'll see now is we still get our fade uh, animation. We can log in and out. And, you know, it just, it makes it a lot easier to prototype these animations when you have an animation library built right into the language slash um, framework you're using. So if you found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe. In the next video, we're going to go really far in depth into this dispatch handler that I kind of very briefly glossed over. And I'm going to be showing you how we can dispatch through multiple tiers of content, not just uh, one component to another. But in this video, we learned how we can conditionally render using an if and an else block, as well as using transitions and customizing the transitions um, with a little bit more oomph. So if you found this video yes, uh, if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.